Hey Collective, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a pick a card on what do you need to know right now or what do you need to hear right now. This is going to be a timeless video as well. Um, I want to say thank you as well to all of the comments, likes and subscribes to the channel. It's very beautiful to see and I do love each and every one of you. So beautiful, so beautiful. We have four piles to choose from. Pile number one is going to be blue obsidian as well as this elephant. I just felt called to have like a little extra piece to go along with everything. But this is pile number one. Pile number two is actually two Iceland spars. Pile number three is fluorite, rainbow fluorite, two rainbow fluorites, one faceted, and then one raw. And then pile number four is going to be pink tourmaline or rubelite. We have her in two different ways here. So yes, timestamps will be in the description as well as any other information you might want to know about the current reading today. And I shall see you in your guys' reading or readings. You know, you can choose more than one. But we're just going to see what you need to know right now. So it's going to be pretty... I'm hearing epic. So let's see. Hey, pile number one. If you have chosen this blue obsidian as well as this elephant with some blue little rhinestones across it, then this is your reading. When I felt called to even pick this elephant up for your reading, I was immediately drawn to an energy of protection or being protected. So it's really given that energy. As well, even for this to be obsidian, and I'm also hearing clarity, so there could be some clarity coming in for you in this time right now. I know it's kind of cliche or just like it's just strong for me to hear that protection energy you may remember things very easily as well just you being the soul that you are I'm also hearing that you literally hear well like you may hear spirit communicate with you often or you listen to your intuition quite often it's very strong energies yeah something about your eyes as well something about black eyes very interesting. It's almost as if um, I'm picking up this energy of being within the divine feminine energy very strongly. So I'm kind of getting the intuitive hits from this energy that I'm picking up on for you, pile number one. It's a very intuitive, mysterious kind of energy. It's given as Scorpio as well as eighth house and eighth. Eighth house energy. Wow, I couldn't almost, I couldn't speak it. <laughs> it's giving eighth house energy. Hmm, Some scorpionic energy. A little bit of transformation in there, a little bit as well. Four may be significant for you. The number four, the four elements. Maybe even definitely the color blue may be significant for you. That could even be a reason why you were drawn to this pile. But the color blue is about. Um, authenticity to me how you speak, what you speak just in general your truth and how you express that so I'm so curious, let's see, what do you need to know right now, palm number one we have some oracle right here oracle, oracle I, I believe all of the front is oracle because I want to try that out and see how that would be and then it's literally like two cards of tarot two cards so I'm curious I'm so curious to see what will come through and how the divine will have us channel this energy through. I felt called to look at the clock and it's currently 410. So that's interesting how I did say four can be significant for you. I'm hearing also don't hold back. Keep moving forward. Like I feel like you're right there at the end of something. Not at the, at the end, but I mean like 
there's this energy of feeling burdened but wanting to almost give up in a sense but i'm hearing to keep pushing forward okay so let's delve straight in we're going to start with the oracle and then finish off with tarot first card out we have planetary cycles with closing cycles interesting completion and moving forward <laughs> It's funny to me because it's like the first card is literally like everything that I was kind of just talking about, especially with the 10 energy, with the completion, like something is about to come to a head. And then also with the moving forward, like I feel like you are protected right now in this journey of moving forward. I'm hearing um, something maybe fractal, but right now it's coming into like I'm hearing soul fragments. So maybe there's this energy of right now you are bringing in fragmented parts of your own soul to where the divine wants to protect you wants to let you know that you are protected right now and you are closing i'm hearing energetic cycles and completing things that will soon or are currently right now in your aura manifesting in a 3d i hope that makes sense because i kind of lost myself when i was kind of speaking about it so let's see next card the halls of learning you have spirit guides, confirmation, and great lessons. That was good confirmation. That was good confirmation. But I am definitely getting this energy that you have. Then again, I believe in the beginning I said something about with this elephant that um, you remember things. It's something about your memory, something about um, the way that you think, the, how you like never forget certain things when they're done. It's, almost, it's not like you hold on to grudges or anything like that. It's just that you you remember. You you keep certain things in the mind and that seems like it's a lot of things like i feel like you're strongly connected to that of the akashic records palm number one and it's interesting too because i do feel this connection to gaia's waters or just water in general seeing the color blue pop up through this card like that so water could definitely be significant for you you could resonate with any of the water signs what is it cancer scorpio and um having a brain fart here cancer scorpio and i'm gonna sit here and figure it out i feel like that's it's a reason why i don't even want to sit on it for too long cancer scorpio <laughs> help me out here spirit guys help me out Yeah, we're gonna have to push forward because what cancer scorpio halls of learning quite literally and here i am like trying to have to recall this energy pisces <laughs> and that's funny because pisces is that 12th house energy to where it's like who would have ever thought not only that it resembles the feet in my mind and through my own research and what i figured out the feet it's so interesting something about that could be relevant for you so here we have you are in great company pull back to propel forward with the card number 16. i'm definitely getting this strong energy like your spirit guides are in your company right now in the moment like you're going through great lessons right now completing and closing cycles moving forward so it's interesting how this moving forward is here and then it says pull back to propel forward Mm -hmm. as well as to let you know that you are in great company hmm let's delve deeper and see oh yeah she of the lotus this definitely speaks of like energies of um having to go through some kind of hardship or some kind of hard lesson or just some kind of strong energy that might may have made you feel some kind of way pile number one to where it made you feel like you were in a low maybe right but that low was to make you propel forward you know this pull back to propel forward energy like i feel like whatever has happened in the recent past has closed out a cycle allows you to complete something within your soul's journey while being here on this earth in this time 
to where now you can propel forward, move forward, become that lotus. I feel like you are getting downloads, like beautiful ideas, beautiful creative ideas that you may be thinking about that you want to bring to fruition right now during these times, which is almost the reason and why they wanted you to pull back is what I'm hearing so that you can get certain energies within your aura because this inevitably is going to help you propel forward is what I'm hearing. And with this She of the Lotus, it definitely speaks about the energy of having to, like I said, go through a strong energy because, you know, the Lotus has to come through the mud and then reach the surface to still be as beautiful. I'm going to read like the first few or just like the, um, it's 16, 16 on the clock right now. And it's interesting how there is a 16 right here. So 16 could definitely be important. I'm hearing 777 seven, seven for you as well, which speaks of a lot of luck. God incidences as well is what I'm hearing. So she of the Lotus, call number one. Let us delve a little deeper with that and just look at the first few letters. Letters? What the what? The first few words. And see. She of the Lotus. Mm, see? It literally says shadow work. Addressing dissonance. So it's almost like resonance and dissonance so it's almost like something that doesn't resonate with you is kind of what i'm picking up seeing downfalls as the flip side of superpowers loving yourself back to wholeness the beautiful lotus that grows from the murky waters disempowering triggers bringing light into your dark corners very beautiful mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but that's really just that energy that i was kind of picking up on is like this came through for a reason for you. I feel like your guys want you to know that you're doing beautiful. Pound number one. Like you're doing excellent, shall I say. Let's look. Let's look. Oh, look. We got abundance with Jupiter card number 23. Like look, you're about to roll into this abundant energy. I'm also hearing um, Sagittarius. So you could have strong Sagittarius placements currently right now. As well as that's where the galactic center direction is so maybe you might have been drawn to that well there might be a message for you pile number one in one of my videos on my channel based around the energy of what does the galactic center want you to know right now so if you feel called go ahead and take a peek and if you've already watched it kudos you might want to go back <laughs> but this is just the energy that i'm getting you're rolling into some strong, abundant energy. Oh, that was interesting. Like, the charger behind me just fell to the ground. Like, I feel like you're about to be charged up. You know, you're about to get... Um, Like, if your battery percentage for just your energy levels right now, we're at a 23%. Interesting how 23 came to mind, and this is number 23. But if your energy levels were at a 23%, I'm getting the intuitive nudge that the divine is currently in the moment charging you up to so that you can reach that level of 100 percent which would be basically you being the lotus reaching the top of the waters and being able to show off something that you've attained from going deep within from pulling back let's see let's see let's see what do we have here if the wild ones come with sticks so this is kind of interesting energy it kind of looks like this insect possibly is beating drums on <laughs> what well, seems to me like the universe but the divine which could also be you as well if the wild ones come with sticks I'm getting this energy that um look at that and then i'm putting this right with the spirit guys energy like i feel like if there was an energy of anything trying to mess with you or like give you a negative vibe if there are people around in your aura that give negative energy that you are aware of i feel like this is you like even through anything that they do you won't allow it to penetrate through you like you know who you are internally to where that's reflected externally you don't allow your external to make who you are is basically what i'm saying 
like I feel like you know about like that's confirmation about this transformation energy that I was picking up on with the butterfly wings here and then each eyeball right here I do get the energy that it is a spirit guide so you could have four spirit guides around you currently at the moment and truly I believe a legion a legion of angels a legion of spirit guides a legion of ancestors it's just strong energies surrounding my pile number ones for having to go through such dark times and then have to close those cycles to now come into abundance I'm very curious about this energy I know I could have like did this afterwards but I'm just very curious card number 12 see it says negative self-talk self-criticism harsh judgment of self and others gossip it says give no energy to negativity it is not your friend now is the time to remove yourself from this destructive energy and focus on loving yourself with radical acceptance, understanding, forgiveness, and detachment. You must avoid harsh judgments of others, too. So step away from the gossip, ignore the drama, and nasty comments you see splashed all over social media. Remember that no one in no situation is perfect, so give yourself and others the space and the grace to be human. So if the wild ones come with sticks, let all that negative energy go. Focus on the beautiful aspects of your life weave your dream call upon the magic of your desires and pay attention to what really matters instead of this distraction you will be so glad you did the universe loves you so much and you are in the right place remember this too shall pass very beautiful energy very beautiful energy and it's interesting because my sound bowl over here was kind of making noises because i have this little citrine bead on the inside of it so maybe sound healing could be helpful for you right now in these moments allowing you to just center your energy back to yourself you know and not allow the distractions from the outside world to distract you pile number one so let's see what do we have here it's interesting <laughs> when the heat rises understand that you control the heat whenever i see this card it kind of reminds me of how powerful each individual human really is on this earth and saying that if there's anything that we feel to be too too much for what we are currently going through right now and thinking that we can't deal with it right you can always deal with it like we are always the co-creators of our reality to where communicating with spirit and just asking for a better understanding of what's actually going on right now in my current situation allows them to actually come through with that energy just understand that you control the heat you know <sighs> and i believe the heat right now in this sense refers to our emotion our interesting <laughs> pile number one's emotions Or just when anything that arises within the vessel or just things that you know that you can control when things of that nature does rise know that you can work your magic within that area pound number one 12 could actually be significant for you as well being called to say that and that's interesting because I said something about the eighth house and then Pisces with the twelfth house. So all of that is definitely significant. As well as spider webs can be significant for you or just spiders in general. Spider webs to me speak of just that connection between all things, knowing all are connected, all are one. And just that working aspect. So that's interesting. Let's get let's delve deeper. We have the Earth Star Chakra with eight. And that's interesting. I just talked about the eighth house. But right now, this is giving a grounded energy that I'm feeling from this Earth Star Chakra. I feel like you are literally a conduit for high vibrational energies currently right now when watching this video that through your feet, which is interesting how I spoke of that, is where right below your feet is where the Earth Star Chakra resides to where your connection to the Earth is established. And the, that's really brown tones, brown and green tones that I'm getting. I'm also hearing heart chakra energy. But be sure to always stay grounded, pile number one. 
because I really do feel the energies are, are going to heighten up soon with this propel forward energy. Like you may, like literally the tension is rising to where you're about to be like shot off with like Sagittarius's arrow almost, which is very interesting. You're almost about to expand. You're about to expand. So they want you to be grounded almost is what I'm hearing. Understand where you are in this reality. Hmm. Okay, let's delve deeper. We have the cosmic heart here with devotion, potency. I do feel that potency energy and make your life a moving prayer. And that's right here up under the she of the lotus. So I definitely feel like it's giving Chiron the wounded healer as through the darkness that you've been through, the darkness that you've stretched through is what I'm hearing. It's, it's truly giving a Ten of Wands energy. But through that energy, you've come out on top even more beautiful than you were before you started is what I'm hearing. Like the devotion that you've given to yourself as well as the divine kind of energy is what I'm getting you've made your life a moving prayer to where you heal just by being yourself and walking amongst the earthly plane is what i'm hearing and definitely polymer one there's something about your eyes like i feel like you may even be the type to be very alluring or there's something you've done recently to your eyes maybe you do eyeshadow makeup or just anything of that nature like you maybe have decided to maybe wear lashes for the first time in a while or just it's just an energy of the eyes you may just really have catching eyes <laughs> but your energy is very serene very beautiful then again very devoted it's potent it's abundant and you, you, your heart chakra i'm hearing is very connected to that of the um the universe's heart the very epicenter the singularity of our universe i feel as though your heart is connected to that as is any soul, but then again, this is what pawn number one needs to know right now. Very interesting energy. All right, look, we're here with the tarot now. Two tarot cards, first tarot card, what do we have? 16 with disruption. And I did want to say something about the tower when I did see it, but I, didn't, I wanted to make sure before it actually came through. And so here we are, card number 16. Hmm. And that's really the tower. And it even says disruption. It's very interesting energy. The divine are taking some kind of step within your life right now. Pound number one. Taking some kind of action. Maybe this action that they are taking is actually this pulling back energy. Or even what's to come is the divine. I'm hearing that they didn't want you to think that this was all that this world can offer for you is what I'm hearing. We want to show you better. We want to show you more. We want to show you what you can actually do, the things that you can actually tap into, the things that can be provided for you. And I feel like all of this comes through that energy of pulling back, that energy of having to close out cycles and complete certain things to now move forward be propelled forward because it's giving a strong divine timing energy for you in pawn number one and then here we have moving on card number six like you're definitely exiting this energy right here and then moving forward into love light and happiness is what i'm hearing not to say love light and happiness wasn't here but it's giving a new world is what you're stepping into for yourself and is, is this a clock I'm getting drawn to think that this is a clock right here. So again, to so that divine timing kind of energy. Very strong for you, part number one. Hmm. Three, six, eight could be important for you. You definitely have seven, seven, and seven literally on the board right here. So that's confirmation again for that seven, seven, seven. You're very blessed is what I'm hearing. Very connected to the source and all things around. But definitely pawn number one. They want you to just understand that you're going through a shift basically right now in the very moment. 
a strong shift to where they don't want you to be distracted by so much of the external world and focus more on yourself with this grounded energy that and the plane the earthly plane something more about your abundance and how you're expanding currently in the moment focusing more on the things that you eat while it comes to knowledge the videos you watch the things you listen to the things you watch like all of our five senses are ways that we experience this 3d world and i feel like they want you to pay closer attention to that very interesting energy is this all that we have for pile number one i'm kind of feeling it but okay <laughs> um if you enjoy be sure to give the video a like comment subscribe if you feel called to and i hope that this brings some light to your situation and all the things that you may be going through in the moment i love you dear beautiful soul always and again you are protected look at this jupiter and then the elephant with the abundant energy like and then as well with just an elephant may be your um spirit animal spirit totem as well you could be called to actually search up and look what that means for you because it'll mean something different for each individual chose that chose pile number one so just definitely be sure to go ahead and look into these things because they've come out for a reason and you've came across this video as well for a reason but okay i love you i'm out hey pile number two if you have chosen this iceland spar unit that we have here this two iceland spars then this is your reading i was okay when i first sat these two down because it's interesting um i definitely was trying to think at first it was just this we're going through the process together it was just this pile number two and then i was like huh what am i going to add for this one and so then i felt called to have another iceland spar and so then my mind took me through the thought that you were you're elevating right now in the moment pile number two like this was you in a sense before and then this is going to be you after like i know size really doesn't matter uh, interesting but at the same time that was my stomach i was if you heard that i apologize but i take that as confirmation i really do believe that you are becoming more of who you are right now like you in a sense have elevated yourself to a higher standard of who you are you've come to know more of yourself is what i'm hearing it's very beautiful to see this is what you need to know right now we're going to delve in deep and see what you need to know but it's definitely layers to your soul that have been like that have been collected is what i'm hearing there's so much more to you now than there was in the past is what i'm hearing like basically this is basically giving the energy like a snowball effect kind of energy to where this is how you started off the snowball and then you rolled it down a hill and then currently right now your current energy is this to where it's like you've accumulated a lot to who you are right now in these current times pond number two you've mastered yourself to where now you can elevate yourself is what i'm hearing this is strong energies so we're gonna see so we have this here we have a whole bunch of oracle let me just say that all the front is pretty much oracle and then we're gonna delve a little deep right here with the two care two carol well carrots may be significant for you as well but two <laughs> carrots like as in like 12 carat diamonds or something like that look i really don't know but two tarot cards at the end let's delve in and see what do you need to know right now on pile number two we have the greater plan card number seven with acceptance letting go and divine perfection i'm hearing the divine say that all things are perfect including you pile number two you are a part of this perfection that the divine has created i feel like they want to um recognize you per se currently right now in the moment they want to let you know that it's okay to accept certain things while it's okay to let go of other things 
like that's interesting as well like you're accepting something more right now in the current moment like you see some greater plan like you see some something in the future attainable for you that's not currently here right now you're accepting something as well as letting go of things that don't bring about um this level of positive energy that you are wanting within your life is what i'm hearing this divine perfect perfection and every time i want to say divine perfection i hear divine protection meditation may be something that you want to get into as well I'm definitely seeing the divine grace you with a portal to your greater self is what I'm hearing your greater self very interesting we have seraphim's gateway here with voice activation angelic attunement and divine support so look the divine is all up in your life right now and i'm picking that up strong because you have two things right here two things <laughs> two words that say divine perfection and divine support so i'm definitely getting that divine energy flowing through you right now poem number two like literally you're energy is attuned to that of the angelic realm your energy is attuned to that of higher frequencies to where i believe you can see certain things that are soon to come almost like prophetically seeing things maybe your dreams have been telling you something too pile number two like <laughs> i'm kind of losing it here it's so interesting the energies are like so malleable like so fluctuating as well so I do strongly get that you could as well be going through a strong transformation in these current times because with this letting go and acceptance energy, things, I feel like you know this as well, things moving forward will not be the same as they were in the past. Like, I'm also hearing you've changed. So something in your aura that you are aware of has changed for you, possibly, pile number two. But let's see. I'm definitely getting this strong energy <laughs> the angels are around you as well like you yourself could be resonant to that of an angel to where your wings like like oh my god you are like there's this strong angelic energy that i just keep picking up on it's so interesting excuse me i do apologize literally channeling at the moment knights of the round table let their love lift you higher as well that's so interesting right i'm hearing as well your ancestors the angels oh that's so interesting i feel like right now in the current moment for you there are new ancestors and new angelic frequencies around you that are wanting to lift you higher wanting to show you more of the world wanting to show you more of what your perception can be attuned to the funny because you have this angelic attunement and then with this let their love lift you higher it gives this energy of acceptance like they want you to let their love lift you higher they want you to i'm feeling drawn to maybe read the first script of this before we move forward we're pile number two so let's see let's see let's see let's see you have meeting the mentor here show me a successful individual and i'll show you someone who didn't want for positive influence in his or her life i don't care who you are or what you do for a living i'm reading this if you do it well i'm betting there was someone cheering you on and showing you the way so the message is envision the people you most admire now and throughout history seated at a round table with you and your life as their sole focus. Allow your personal Knights of the Round Table to offer guidance on your current circumstances, goals, and aspirations. Because look, you have the greater plan on your current goals and aspirations lean on their strength knowing it is a sign of courage not weakness to be buoyed 
buoyed by visible and invisible ones who love you. Feel the unique way they infuse you with a direct transmission of wisdom from on high. Like, like, stop. Marinate in their individual and collective brilliance. Allow yourself to feel, sense, and see genius. Gently yet powerfully wrapping itself around you, lifting you higher than you could ever do on your own. It is currently 444 on the clock right now. Let me see if I can get y'all to see it as well. Um, it may not even be possible at the very moment. Though I thought that it may have been, but I, oh. Yeah, I can definitely show you guys this 444. Beautiful, right? Like you're very protected, like especially with this Knights of the Round Table, and that's just confirmation. Like you're very protected right now. Like their energies surround you. You have divine support. Divine support. And I feel like all that I just read was almost <laughs> I'm being drawn to this energy of the color purple. So you could be working with the violet flame or just this energy of strong positive transformations. But let's delve deeper and see. You have communication, co-creation with card number 21. I'm also being drawn to like 721. So maybe that can be your birth time or just something of that nature. 721 seems to be significant. Hmm. Seven and three come to a 10, one and zero. Interesting. But your light, like your heart centered, the epicenter, the very singularity of your energy, pile number two, is strongly connected to other beings that help provide support for this earthly plane right now. And they are coming through right now as an energy saying that you are currently in co-creation with the most high, with the universe, with the divine. You're creating something maybe unknowingly right now in the very moment, but also maybe knowingly. And that's what makes it so beautiful. You may even use your voice with this voice activation in ways that allow even yourself to be activated. Like you may hum, you may do mantras, you may even just own your to yourself. Like you may even just have your own language. You know, you don't, you might not even use English all the time like when you're alone within your own energies you may decide to light language like just speak anything that you feel called to actually speak whether it comes out as a word or not it's just it's all spelling it's all it's like this energy of the magic within your throat chakra is awakening for you it's also what i'm hearing to where when you do speak you elevate so you almost be you be cautious you be cautious while it gives this energy that you will soon be more cautious about those that you do speak to knowing your power knowing who you are this is just all downloaded energy all right let, let's let's see we have juno here with partnership card number 31 i do get this just from this card like immediately when it came through i got this energy that maybe a like the partnership you have with the divine is so unique but each individual that has chosen pile number two and i feel like soon you will be in co-creation with that energy or even currently right now in the moment you may have some hint on a relationship that you have with another that may even you see bettering both like the relationship between the two individuals currently that i'm seeing in my mind's eye so they could resemble just these two birds one of them is you and one of them is another that you could feel called that having the two of you together would bring about a beautiful energy for both parties involved like that's just how relationships in my eyes should always be like there should never be this energy that um one individual's cup is being drained to where there, it's always one-sided like no I believe that when relationships come together that there's just this energy of betterment all the way through like if two 25 cents came together I believe there should be a 50 cent right like if a 25 cent and a 10 cent came together there's 35 like I don't even know where I'm really going with this but I'm really getting this energy of 
you being in co-creation with something very strong to you something that's that you actually feel could be a partnership for you and it could be a relationship with yourself as well oh that was so interesting that was so interesting i don't even know what that it says time to dance around the sun card number 37 like it's giving strong happiness energy especially from that like even with the knights of the round table like these two kind of relate to me when i do look at them knights of the round table let their love lift you higher your own personal round table with all of the divine beings that you know that want to actually support you are currently with you in this time of dancing around the sun like you are never really truly alone pound number two and i just literally said something about this three and seven coming to a ten right here and it's funny that's communication co-creation and the greater plan you yourself are in communication with the divine on this greater plan for maybe even the universe or just this earthly plane that we are on right now for Gaia herself you are being imbued is what I'm hearing with this divine frequency that will allow you to understand more of where you are right now and why you are here There is this strong connectivity between you and the divine, almost as if you truly do have this partnership right here. And I feel like that is what you need to know right now. Palm number two. Like it's very electrifying energy, very shocking, very exhilarating. Like all parts of your vessel are being lit up is what I'm hearing. Okay, let's look at the keywords for this. I feel like I've spoken a lot. 37 <laughs> it says victory after hard work celebration of achievements and having the advantage to win when it's time to dance around the sun you can be sure of sweet victory in all your endeavors perhaps you're surprised at this sudden success don't be you've worked hard to be here now learned many lessons and integrated their wisdom and finally chose the right actions it's true you didn't do everything all the work wait it's true you didn't do everything, all the work to get here. The universe has been working on your behalf in the hidden realms for some time. Now to co-create your dreams and weave them into reality. How could you doubt this mystical, magical partnership with the divine? Like it's literally right here, partnership with the divine. Yes, sometimes things take longer than you hope for, but you keep acting on faith trusting that the form of your dreams will manifest in perfect ways and in perfect timing the greater plan acceptance and letting go in divine perfection now is the time to celebrate your good fortune and share it with others you are a beacon of hope for many to have the courage you have shown to in so many ways your success gives others hope isn't that a beautiful thing like literally your light people see that palm number two to where it's almost a very inspirational vibe that they even get from the things that you do so keep being you 100 percent because it's bringing about things in other people that the divine want to be brung up in them and it's very beautiful to see very beautiful let's see what do we have here <gasps> was it you i said something about your five senses it could have been pile number one i'm not sure but we'll see your five senses are being highlighted, connect with the human vessel and attend to the simple things. If it was you, I'm feeling happy about myself because I feel like I did say something about the five senses <laughs> and how that's just how we collect energy. Like that's just how we relate to this human world or not human, this earthly plane. That's just how we collect information, collect energy through the things that we touch, the things that we smell what we eat and what we see i feel like all of those things matter for you and they want you to connect with your vessel and those things basically connect with your present moment pile number two but let's see let's see you have perpetual motion which is very interesting because i feel like things are literally right now kicking into motion and especially with that perpetual, I feel like it's going to always be in motion now that it's been kicked into motion is what I'm hearing. So this communication with a divine that's been 
activated or unlocked is what I'm hearing is what's going to stay in connection like I feel like your frequency is going has been almost reached its minimum to where now you can understand the highs that you're about to go to right now you do have 37 to 38 though so that's very progressive movement energy 10 and 11 so 111 could be important for you even 11 11 but time to dance around the sun in perpetual motion you even have this spiral energy right here the golden ratio could be important for you as well Hmm. I don't know why I'm hearing that all things are cyclic. I'm also hearing that um, vortexes are around you right now in the moment, almost portal energies. Even like literally beneath your feet, I'm really seeing the divine working on a portal right now to get you into this beautiful partnership with the divine, like just to bring about that energy. This is so interesting. I'm loving this. What do we have here? We have star ancestors with hidden secrets, lost wisdom, and look a little deeper. So it's interesting because you do have a tent to the simple things. And that could literally just be even sweeping the floor, right? Dusting off certain things, wiping down those cabinets. It is kind of like spring cleaning energy is what I'm kind of getting right now. But also just for your vessel, you know? So just attend to the simple things, but you literally have hidden secrets. I feel like you yourself have this deep hidden wisdom that maybe even you only know, and they want you to be truthful within that. Don't, I can hear the divine not wanting you to take what others say your gifts are for truth, because you may, you know what you are capable of until the divine source may tell you otherwise it's like it's just giving that kind of energy to where your connection with the the divine is just simply your connection to the divine i feel like it's unique to each one of you pile number two and they want you to let that love that you have that feeling that you have with the universe to lift you higher even for this time to dance around the sun you could have literally like had this strong um, um prophetic vision with the sun to where you may have been in co-creation or in co-communication with that of the sun or any sun is what I'm hearing any star is very interesting energy Orion as well could be significant for you the pyramids of Giza Thoth energy just Egyptian comedic energy is very coming through even just the energy of sand, the beach as well. So maybe something about literal water that could be significant for you, file number two. But let's go ahead and just kind of, let's look into, this is funny because when I'm working with Tara, I see it as looking a little deeper. So let's look a little deeper and see. We're gonna start down here. Uh, I, I literally had a feeling that when I was touching this card, that it was either going to be the star or the sun. You have the sun here. And we were just speaking about being in connection with some kind of sun energy. And the sun is a star. That that's shining all across this earthly plane right now is a star. And I'm getting that you are a star as well. Pile number two. You shine bright like a diamond is what I'm hearing. You elevate yourself, which inevitably elevates others. You elevate yourself, which inevitably elevates the earthly plane and the frequency around you. Like you are a walking miracle is what I'm hearing. Power number two, a walking miracle. I love that energy. So let's see what this final card may be. We have base chakra with number one. As well, I did want to say you have 17, 18. So forward movement once again, because you have 37, 38, 17, 18. And then you have card number one here with the base chakra. I'm hearing that you may be having, um, I want to say Kundalini rising, but that could just be an energy that could be happening for you right now. Just this energy of rising, like your frequency is shifting, especially with this angelic attunement. I'm also hearing 
and it's interesting too because your five senses as well as base chakra kind of gives us such a, a rooted energy the survival aspect your fears as well and then it is right over a tent to the simple things so maybe even working with your base chakra working with things that may it's given a daredevil energy but i'm not sure it's almost just like taking that leap but as well it gives the energy of being strong about the things that you know to be true a very rooted energy in what you know to be true and what's interesting i believe red has a long vibration maybe like a long frequency like it can be seen from a long distance away i feel like that's that's kind of symbolic with your energy so maybe even just doing more research on just color theory and maybe just understanding the vibrations of each color and how they resemble to our chakras and things of that nature i'm just feeling called to say things with that so i do believe that may be it for you though pile number two for what you need to know right now i hope this did resonate and i hope that you enjoy firstly and if you did enjoy be sure to give the video a like comment subscribe if you feel called to and you are dearly loved beautiful soul i love you and i hope that this journey that you are currently undergoing is going to be very beautiful and fruitful for you of course they want you to have more hope about your current situation but know that you are currently in co-creation with the literal divine within you like you're currently building this relationship with the divine it's so beautiful like whatever is lost to you whatever has been lost to others has been found to you like that's what makes it so beautiful like your energy but okay we're gonna go ahead and move on <laughs> all right see you around hey pile number three if you have chosen this rainbow fluorite combo <laughs> right here then this is your reading so let's see This is interesting energy. Because just through just what I'm feeling as I'm firstly tapping into the energies for what you need to know right now, I'm strongly feeling um, two different energies. Two of the same energy, but like they're different. Like they're the same, but different one has rough edges while the other has been molded shaped one is natural while one is influenced but all in all i do feel this strong connection like this this certain type of connection to the divine to your spirit guides to even your ancestors it's there's something about this connection you yourself could even be right now becoming more like your energy may have been That's interesting. Like I'm hearing something that's naturally shaped in the river. And that's funny because so was the Shiva. Something that was naturally shaped in a river is what I'm hearing. Like that could even be you, like this energy of throughout this time of what energies that I'm picking up right now, you've changed naturally. You've become something different naturally through through flow just like the flow of a river you've become something different in a good way of course it's always going to be excellent beautiful energies pile number three i'm getting empress energy for you exactly like there's something that's changed but let's see we have some oracle here 
<laughs> I don't know why I felt called to do that, but we have some Oracle here. Like literally the whole thing is Oracle before we tap into the final two cards of tarot. But just felt called to do it that way. I want to see what will actually come through for what you need to know right now. Let's see, first card out, we have Seeds, Planet, Anchor, and your Star Codes. I'm also hearing once these Star Codes are enlisted within your vessel, which, I, which I'm also hearing soon, that you will soon spread your wings. You will become enlightened, more enlightened than you are already is what I'm hearing. Like I feel this, this, this strong feeling that there are beings of energy surrounding me right now pitching in wanting to give certain messages through to pile number three there's like this definite elemental energy but i feel a strong spirit guided energy like this is all about energy of things that want to guide you to be better where you are right now so you have three and eight which reduce two and eleven it's interesting. This could even be some form of like a twin flame journey for you. I'm not even per, per se like I have no clue. I just felt called to say that. Trees could definitely be significant for you, though. Like I feel like the trees speak to you. Pile number three or even like if you hug trees, I love you because I hug trees like it's a tree. Like why not? Not like not saying it's a tree. Why not go and hug it? But the energetic benefit given to the human body for just even going and hugging a tree is beautiful like the energetic release from that is just magnificent the very earthly elementals even the fire elementals all of just the elements elementals are beautiful and i feel like they are working with you maybe subconsciously or consciously through maybe even again just a flame could be lit in your room and there's the fire elemental helping in a sense for whatever reason you've lit the candle for the fan if you have one going in your room there's the wind element and even the wind element is naturally outside always around i don't even know why i feel like going into this tangent one card right but it's just definitely that energy of Things are currently being implanted within you in the very moment, pile number three, that will allow you to be more of yourself in a sense. Let's see. Look at this. We have Merkaba activation with transcendence, ascension. You are rising up. Definitely this energy of like elevating yourself bringing yourself to a higher standard i do strongly get this energy of your crown chakra as well as your third eye chakra being very um active currently right now in the moment as well as before i started your reading i strongly got a ringing in my right ear so i see that as times when there are downloads being literally enlisted within me so that's kind of the energy that i'm picking up for you pile number three and i feel like that's literally what's happening for you you're literally getting seeds planted within you and your guides your ancestors the divine want you to know that due to this fact you are anchoring in your own star codes through these seeds being planted into you so i feel like the strong energy of the divine and your spirit guys working on your soul per se right now in the moment because you literally have your light body merkaba activation transcendence ascension you are rising up and this is a portal energy that's kind of around you if you were to feel called I did just do a what does your light body want you to know right now because I do definitely feel like these seeds these codes that are being implanted within you are accessing your light body in a sense so there could be a message for you in that video definitely on my channel so have a ball go ahead look for it um <laughs> let's see we have card number 44 with eyes on the prize trust the guidance of your north star I do apologize. Look at that. I'm over here like, wow. But 
eyes on the prize and i do like how the merkaba energy is in a sense behind this feminine aspect like there's two lights it's just so interesting to see like you you've changed your own light body in a sense is what i'm hearing through your own wants trust the guidance of your north star trust what you know to be right eyes on the prize don't give up keep moving forward i'm hearing stay like if you were in a dark tunnel and you saw a light at the end stay with that light is what i'm hearing i'm also hearing to know that um it's something about the journey like for what it is that you want there's something about the journey to getting towards what you want that makes what you want much more greater much more enthusiastic is what i'm hearing but it's, just, it's interesting we're gonna go ahead and grab this we have the star seer with card number 46 and even with the look at these energies like you cannot make this up it literally says you are rising up the spirit guides and the divine even your higher self are assisting you ascend to this energy as well as this could even be you to others right now on your journey helping them ascend to their most beautiful and authentic self you know i feel like right now it's just a strong time of transcendence being that of one that can see beyond the veil is what i'm hearing and then again with that third eye chakra energy it's very potent right now very potent star seer very beautiful energy and look at this isn't that cute to look at these are from two different decks but both depictions have their minds on an on a star so i love to see that energy for you pile number three is to show that you really don't give up on your dreams on the things that you desire and i feel like through to that the divine sees that they always see and they're going to rise you up is what i'm hearing they're planting seeds within you knowing that they will create prosperous fruits but it's almost like these prosperous fruits are things that you want as well so let's see let's delve deeper i had a feeling this card was going to come through for one of the piles in this particular pick a pile reading i just didn't know who exactly but okay we have south node and past right with 33 and i do feel called right because it was just this energy of saying like you've changed right i feel like in the past through to this fact that you are rising up right that old version of you or this version of you that you are leaving behind will be in the past in a sense and i'm also being drawn to say do not allow your past to create who you are in a sense to if your past didn't have that kind of energy to who you want to be you know accept it right and forgive that energy and continue to move forward because you are ascending you are moving up the ladder and the divine doesn't want you to have this baggage with you this energy of the past so what you are trying to actually let go of in a sense i'm getting this energy that a few of you in the pile three energy have already let go of this baggage from the past but there are a few that like you know when it says eyes on the prize that's that energy you know you'll come in as vulnerable as you want and as open as authentic as you can be and it's strongly that i'm seeing this crowned energy like you are very respected in the spirit realm pile number three because there's a crown here as well as she's wearing a crown so you are very respected right now like you have this king queen authentic kind of energy about you to where it's very respected it's giving six of wands energy but let's see let's delve deeper and see what you need to know right now in these times we have only weavers know the time card number 19 is reminding me of the sun energy it also is reminding me of the fates almost as if um divine timing is at play within your life right now as well i believe this is an octopus or it could even be a squid that's interesting right 
it could even be an octopus or a squid i'm guessing i'll take that as confirmation um we're definitely going to look deeper into this but it's, give, it's giving this deep sea diver kind of energy because I'm already seeing this right here. So it's kind of giving us in the depths. Something is in the depths. And it says, only weavers know the time. Hmm. Only weavers know the time. I'm getting this strong energy about only star seers. Not only, I mean, literally, only those receptive enough to this energy are, are going to be able to ascend know that they are rising up and transcending i'm hearing transcending time currently in the moment but let's look with this number 19 only weavers know the time it says releasing timetables releasing timetables trusting timing okay all the time in the world that's what this energy is about all the time in the world and the power to expand time the dream weavers know the perfect timing of your dreams to manifest in the outer world, but their timetable often does not co coincide with your own expectations. Sometimes you can get caught up in worrying that you're running out of time, that you might have missed the prover Ooh. proverbial boat for success, but this is false. The universe doesn't operate in linear time. The dream weavers are moving the threads of fate and destiny. Literally like I was getting, I was getting the fates here. Around on the cosmic loom of your benefit right now. It's time to release your need to know the timing of things and trust that if you keep taking one step at a time, following the signs that sparkle, literally following the signs that sparkle in the mystical threads of synchronicity and serendipity, you will be so much happier especially with this eyes on the prize energy like no matter how much something may change you already know what it is that you want life is an adventure so let go of your need to have things your way when you want it how you want it the way you want it the universe might have a better might have a way better idea of what you need so stay curious and open you are so blessed and what is truly yours will not be withheld from you. Trust in divine timing and all will be well. Trust in divine timing, my dear beautiful souls. Because if this energy of transcendence and activation and you are rising up that you may not be feeling currently right now in the moment, know that this is what's coming for you. <laughs> because I feel that 100%. If, it, if, if there's this energy of you not even feeling like you are a star seer, know that you are. You don't need, like, truly time will tell the divine will literally be there with you in timing of letting you know when this is meant for you to be aware of but this is definitely the strong energy that i'm picking up only weavers know the time like literally very beautiful energy what do we have Ooh. like what's up with this if you are someone like literally those of the seers and you have cars or you watch youtube readings or just anything of the nature that takes you outside of yourself when you can actually get the answers from within because i do strongly get that energy from this pile per se pile number three this energy of you have all the answers within you firstly like i, I truly do feel that the external can assist you in that way but honestly put the cards down and talk with your guys directly because you have this direct connection to the source truly i feel that to where it allows you to trust the guidance from your own north star trust your own guidance so let's see we have the sacral chakra here i do get this is that energy of creation i'm hearing protection as well some form of the emotional body is here as well for this sacral chakra there's definitely this energy of um an underlying blessing is what i'm hearing as well especially with this divine timing and this energy of only weavers know the time 
Hmm, let's delve deeper. Look at that, the void. It says, stop, embrace winter, and great cosmic womb. Like, even with all of this darkness here, it's very perspective of that of the void, like this mysterious energy. Like, there's something not meant to be seen right now in the moment for you. It literally says, stop, embrace winter, embrace the hardships. The great cosmic womb. Did not say something about the depths of how dark. Like this is interesting. Even with this, you are rising up energy. Like I feel like you are rising from this depth energy, from this strong depth that you've been in, or have been in. Let's go into this. Let's go into this. Cause I feel like this energy could be selective to different individuals with the void, the stop embrace winter and the great cosmic womb. I feel like there's so many gifts in the void within the past and the South node. There's so many gifts from delving deep within that dark space of maybe even feeling alone. Like there's so much truth in the void and these dark spaces that many people don't truly feel they can actually reach or get to but there's light within there is light within so let's see what do we have here we have triumphant success i love this energy i feel like you are in this triumphant successful energy like you are cutting through this avoided energy like you're rising up is what i'm hearing you have this new clarity this is what you need to know right now that you have this new clarity I'm hearing that your truth outshines that of any darkness. So the things that you know true for yourself, the truth of your own guidance, your own North Star. And that's funny how you have the North Star, which kind of, to me, represents the North Node. And then you have the South Node here with past. So I do, and it's 44 and 33 here, which are master numbers. You also have one and two here, which speaks of moving forward. So your energy is very... very shifty but also very malleable but also moving forward so i can also understand that a lot may even be going on for you pile number three i was strongly also getting three 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 as an energy for you but since you are pile number three you do have a three here and this is recognition and reward like the two tarot cards that you did have look at this look at this energy you have one two three one two three forty four Oh my god, you even have 333 three, three here. 333. Three, three. Very beautiful energy. So definitely, that's <laughs> pure confirmation for that energy coming through for you. Well, I'll just move these a little. But yes, triumphant success, recognition, and reward. Didn't I say there was something about six of wands for you? But definitely this recognition and reward energy, like this is things coming in for you on top of this transcendence and decision that's here for you as well, pile number three. So let's actually look into something. Let's look into something. I want to read maybe like one thing. And I think it's going to be eyes on the prize. Trust the guidance of your North Star. Been referenced quite a lot here. All right, what right? It says, I'm sure a lot of you have had this experience where you're growing as a person and people tend to treat you like you were 18 months ago. And it's really frustrating sometimes when you're growing up and becoming more capable. It is the same with the company and the same with the press. The press is going to have a lag time. The best thing we can do about the press is to embrace them and keep our eye on the prize. And the press and the shock and the stock price will take care of themselves. As you journey back home with your reward in tow, you realize this is more than a footpath. It's a weave between who you used to be and who you are becoming. So that's so very interesting because you say only weavers know the time as well as for this very card it says it's a weave between who you used to be and i was saying that energy with the crystals in the very beginning for who you used to be 
in who you are becoming, right? Or it just gives that energy vice versa, like you're becoming more into a natural state even possibly. But let's see. You don't have to know exactly how this process will unfold. That's that void energy from here on out. Your only job is to keep your eyes on the prize and follow your North Star. At this moment, your North Star is hanging directly over the place where you started this journey. Okay, consider George Bailey in the movie It's a Wonderful Life. Once he completes his life review and has the epiphany that everyone would not be better off without him, he runs back to Bedford Falls and is home and is home in time to hug and kiss his family and hang the Christmas star on the tree. He is in the same place as he started, but is changed and willing to participate in life from a whole new perspective. Like literally, basically your entire energy. And then you have a dream symbol here for a star. Dreams of a star symbolize you are being guided from on high. This dream is a message that things are looking up for you. Like I get this Merkaba energy with the star. In order to become the star of your own life, it's important to remember Einstein's words. You can't solve a problem with the same mind that created it. In other words, look up, seek a higher point of view, and let your higher guidance system lead the way. Like, look at that energy. It literally says, let in other words look up like this is all just this energy seek a higher point of view and let your higher guidance system lead the way the mantra is i am connected with the celestial body of the universe i have permission to shine at maximum wattage and that's period i am connected with the celestial body of the universe i have permission to shine at maximum wattage we're gonna say it three times I am connected with the celestial body of the universe. I have permission to shine at maximum wattage. Like literally. Like this energy right here with the void, I feel like this is the past. Great cosmic womb. It's in the past. We're moving forward, allowing things to change. Change as they are, knowing that you can still be the star that you want to be. But okay, I believe this is all that we have for you. Pile number three. I hope that you enjoy Please be sure to give the video a like, comment, subscribe if you feel called to. I love you dearly, beautiful soul. You have such an interesting energy. Like it's, it's very ancient is what I'm hearing. Like, it, like literally the trees know of you. So you're very, you're up there. You're highly ranked is what I'm hearing. Um, but okay, very protected. I shall see you around pile number three. Hey, pile number four. If you have chosen this rubellite or pink tourmaline, then this is your reading. So already, I'm strongly getting this energy of something about the sun. Or, because even just these crystals alone, they have strong sun frequency like typings. So it's almost as if you yourself seeing drawn to this energy. I feel like there was something about this ring of light not necessarily a literal ring light no but it could even just be that but because even the sun right now is shining right here through this window that i have and like i feel like it's significant saying that the sun um is with you in a sense in all times always and like this optimistic energy because even I was drawn to this to the color yellow and that could either be I believe it's Oshun energies mm-hmm 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 yes Oshun yeah mm -hmm. okay but I don't know that energy just comes through I just saw blessing on blessings as well. So I do feel like what you need to know right now is that um, you're literally about to be blessed. Pound number four. <laughs> In a good way. Like, like, of course, blessed. But it's like you're about to get for real, like, blessed. And this is what you need to know right now. And I don't want to also, I don't want to just leave it in certain categories of 
Oh, I'm about to get blessed in money. Oh, I'm about to get blessed in love. Oh, I'm about to get blessed in career. Like, you're just about to be blessed. Whether that be be blessed with resources or be blessed with food on the table. Be blessed with that bottle of water that you were needing for because you were so thirsty. Like, I'm hearing this gratitude energy as well for you, pound number four. Because I truly do believe that the sun is on your side. Or just this strong energy of, like happiness overall great energy is what i'm just picking up on for what you need to know right now and this could even just be to instill that energy within you that energy to actually let you know that there's this ring of light around you and this is for each individual drawn to pound number four there's literally this ring of light surrounding you in any endeavor like literally you can do almost a lot of things knowing that this ring of light will always be around you and it's beneficial is what I'm hearing it's a blessing as well this ring of light is a blessing so let's see because we have this Oracle here we have a whole bunch of Oracle shall I say we have Oracle all the way through and then we're gonna finish off with two tarot cards here so let's see first card out what do you need to know right now already we have dimensional shift manifestation harmony dreams to reality like if there has been this energy um i'm just strongly getting like you're right now about to shift into this reality that may have seemed like a dream to you but it truly is a reality that's literally about to be shown to you this dimensional shift and that's very interesting too it's just very interesting i feel like this is a time on the earth currently right now for many of things to just shift change of course since pluto has went into so the aquarius I believe it's Aquarius. As I'm saying that, I feel like I'm getting downloads. So, like, it's just strong rebirth energy is what I'm getting here. This is something that you've wanted as well because there's this manifestation energy. Like, I feel like something is coming to a head for you that's going to seem like a blessing. Pile number four. And I feel like they just want you to grasp that energy, believe it, understand it, and it's coming. Like, I just feel like something is coming. Ooh, look at this. The Chamber of the Violet Flame. Karmic release and radical transformation. You are sitting in, like, good, good energies. <laughs> Pile number four. <laughs> These energies is almost like, wow. Like, it's purely wow. Like, I feel like this exact chamber of the Violet Flame, this exact Violet Flame, you embody that energy right of being able like you've been through many radical transformations many karmic releases to where now i feel like this flame that you embody it's seen from like i'm hearing the flames that you've created here in the physical plane or even just through your mind like your energetic body your imagination through that energy it's being seen universally you know like it's the unseen realm see even how much you've transformed how much you've released how much you've wanted to shift your own reality how much you've wanted to manifest your dreams bring in this harmony energy and I feel like right now the divine is wanting to co-create with you or has been co-creating with you all this time to get this beautiful energy to come through for you i'm also getting this strong stability energy like two pillars down like pillars all across i'm also getting roman energy like roman empire so maybe this is the energy that rome wasn't built in a day but what if it was i don't know i i don't know i don't know you have breadcrumbs of bliss with heed your pleasure principle. <laughs> Usually when I do see this card, I think about how the divine has been given nudges of synchronicity saying like, 
yeah keep doing what you're doing because you're doing it right keep doing what you're doing because this is what we asked of you to do this is what we all have co-created including yourself to do so i'm actually being drawn to like read just a little bit of it before i push forward but i'm also getting this energy that you could feel connected to celtic origins or celtic origins or iceland energy you could have irish blood as well or just bridget could be significant to you or you yourself could have red hair red ginger brown hair i'm part of the club so you know but you know that energy just like gives to me a phoenix quality like energy like you you've been through this energy of rising from the ashes plenty of times to where you've literally rebirthed yourself and transformed many a times so let's see breadcrumbs of bliss it says follow your bliss and doors will open for you that you never knew existed follow your bliss and the universe will open doors for you where there were only walls ashe it says it is no accident you are on this planet at this time in this place with these people it's no accident you've been endowed with unique gifts your gifts and talents are within you for a purpose it's not your job to know how your life is meant to unfold it is only your job to be attuned to the bliss that moves you guides you and underlies your energy interaction moment by moment when you honor your dreams your inner guidance and the promptings of your soul you are rewarded every step of the way with a resurgence of soul juice aka bliss this is not a temporary high that leaves you crashed and burned out the breadcrumbs of bliss will lead you to the best place to be in divine right order very beautiful energy very beautiful energy shall we proceed because i feel like this energy right here kind of reminds me of the sun almost as if you are being bathed in the light of the sun you could even really like enjoy like going out and sunbathing or you just enjoy the qualities that the sun has the things the sun does like the sun is so prominent or just a star that quality you have the root chakra here with number two with the ground and center so it's interesting because 11 reduces to a two so i'm kind of just getting this 11 11 kind of energy right here or like 22 energy right here but i love this because there's this moth here and it's going towards the light I feel like every time I see this root chakra or any base chakra energy, I feel drawn to bring up the energy of Kundalini awakenings or just awakenings that start at the base chakra to where they rise through the chakras, allowing one to become different. Like, I feel like that may even be one of the transformations that you are undergoing right now. Because right now for your specific soul and for each individual currently in this pile, I do feel as though there is at least three transformations that you are currently undergoing right now at least three transformations there may be many of you going through multiple like more than just three like five six seven and your awareness of it is what makes it so beautiful because it takes a lot to even be aware of certain things as well as to believe what you're told by your guides and ancestors like it's very beautiful like i truly do get this energy that the things that you've wanted the things that you're manifesting right now in the moment are starting to come to a head starting to come to reality and i feel like spirit has also been giving you these breadcrumbs to actually let you know like what you're doing is the right thing but okay let's see because this golden energy this yellow orange energy which is kind of speaking of like the sacral and the solar plexus kind of vibes but it's really your willpower who you are you know and it's very alluring it's very captivating as well what do we have here we have descended with invitation like look what, you're being literally invited into your dreams you're being invited into that um dream like reality it's almost like a portal like every time i see this kind of energy i think about portal like maybe even you may want to look into your natal chart and look at your descendant because that can be important for you you may even be getting invited into this 
new relationship for yourself like i definitely feel like the lower chakras are being aspected right now because i didn't even notice that till now that the, the, <laughs> i'm stuttering that this is the root chakra here this is the sacral and this is the solar like they even have their own color coordinations but it's really just speaking of how I'm hearing how grounded and centered you actually are not to even say that you have to ground yourself because I feel like you do that naturally like that's a part of your day-to-day -day already is a part of grounding and having your energy in a stable place because you're going through so many radical transformations and you've been releasing so many things to where now you're being literally invited into this dimensional shift where this violet flame resides and is a part of your manifestations the harmony that you want to create and how you're literally about to see your dreams become a reality, pile number four. So let's see, what else do we have here? Card number 30, it says, beyond your fears, the weavers dance. So isn't that interesting? I truly, hmm, we're gonna definitely read this, maybe all the way through, because I feel like that's strongly a message, but already I'm definitely getting like, no fear no fear so let's see i just kept like i feel like that's what the guys just want me to say for you right now what you need to know right now in the very moment no fear no fear so let's see okay essential meaning the negative effects of prolonged fearful thoughts moving out of flight flight freeze being courageous in spite of your fears beyond your fears the dream weavers dance weaving the beautiful patterns of your life into the great weaving of all life fear although a worthy self-protective emotion engages your flight oh fight flight freeze response this trauma response which also includes submit slash cry for help is not meant to be sustained for any prolonged period perhaps you've experienced something in your life that has you constantly on patrol your brain is in survival mode like look at what this root chakra is maybe they literally want you to relax ground yourself because maybe these radical transformations are having you in a heightened state maybe you've been seeing certain things okay your brain is in survival mode look at this this is on page seven and eight so you're moving forward this is a progressive moving forward kind of energy so it says your brain is in survival mode always seeking potential threats trying to keep you safe but also cutting you off from your connection with spirit it's hard to move past your fears if you've been conditioned to expect the worst your inquiry now is shining a light on the idea of false evidence appealing real. Like, that's what fear abbreviates to. False evidence appearing real, rather than something actually worthy of fear. Take several deep breaths and release the catastrophe in your mind. You can even literally imagine this violet flame energy taking away all these fears that you may have surrounding you in the current moment these false evidences appearing real you could allow this violet flame to burn it all away simply or just shine more love and light to those areas take several deep breaths and release the catastrophe in your mind there is nothing to worry about allow for what is to be what is now is the time to trust life to trust yourself and to trust the universe release your fears this karmic release because this could be something that has just been a part of your energy release your fears to the divine and step forward you might feel vulnerable literally like i was getting this energy right here you might feel vulnerable maybe a bit exposed quite literally but you will regain your confidence and sense of humor quickly through these breadcrumbs of bliss that the divine is literally putting in your like right in front of your path the divine is already ahead of you is what i'm hearing now dust yourself off stop ruminating take a media break and gaze into the field of potential that surrounds you 
it's all about where your attention goes, isn't it? Like literally the mind is so powerful. You know this already too. The mind is so powerful. When we allow ourselves to focus on one thing for too long, it almost ends up becoming our reality because we've thought of it for so long. When we think about the things that we want to create, the things that we want to be of greatness in this world all the time, like that takes training as well. Like, of course, it's easy for some, but not for most. So allowing yourself to constantly be in this optimistic energy as if the sun is right in front of you. It's very beautiful energy. So let's see. We have cosmic ancestors surround you and are ready for your commands. Pile number four. You have cosmic ancestors surrounding you. You have the divine surrounding you. You have this ring of light surrounding you, ready for your commands, ready for you to take that next step within the pleasures that you seek for your life and knowing that you have support because they're literally just waiting for you to almost take that next step towards the things that you actually want for your life those dreams to actually come to reality so let's see let's see what we have here we have regeneration okay okay with card number 34 i love this because you have two three four right here and i literally did literally look at this root chakra when this card came through and I'm getting the vibes that your root chakra right now may be getting regenerated. Maybe all of the lowers may be getting regenerated right now after some time of fear. Because the root chakra kind of does symbolize fear as well as survival energy. So maybe you have been in this fear mindset to where now it's being regenerated into more a survival, stable, grounded, and centered energy for yourself. Like this is the energy that you're being invited into is what I'm hearing especially with this two, three, four here is definitely moving forward. Even one, two, three, four, if you want to keep it like that, because this is all right here. I'm sorry, excuse me. I do truly believe that you're walking towards your pleasure principle. And through that energy, you're going to become more grounded and centered, be available to more regenerative energies as well. And I'm also hearing be able to dance with the light, which is very beautiful for you, Colin, before. I almost wanted to like just scream because I love this card so much. Like this is one of my favorite cards. You have the blue flame, spontaneous awakening, activation and integration time. Now I want y'all to look at this. You have the violet flame as well as the blue flame within your energies. Like I didn't look at any of these cards. I never look at the cards because I love that energy of not knowing what actually the divine wants for the collective to channel through me, you know, and it's always beautiful. And I love it here. I genuinely love you here because you're ascending. You're becoming a beautiful soul that's like knowing of who they are and the things that they want, as well as I can already see that, like the transformations that you're going through are literally shifting your whole reality to something different literally with this dimensional shift that's the first card that came out for you your life is shifting like no way you have blue flame and violet flame awakening transformation activations invitations pure bliss like this is all giving great sun like energy even for the flames to come through i feel like you yourself have such a high vibrational soul ancient one that's tapped into many things on this plane. You've experienced many lifetimes as many beings, many, you could have had like, I'm, I'm serious here. You could have been quite like a lot of different animals, a lot of species on this plane, all the way down to the plant kingdom. Any kingdom that you can possibly imagine and feel drawn and connected to. I feel like you truly have been connected to that and you carry gifts of the, of that species within you. And I feel like you're currently at this moment regenerating that you're awakening, activating, integrating and letting go of all things that no longer serve who you want to be. And it's very beautiful energy. So let's get into the tarot for you, because like, wow, what do we have here? Wisdom. Shall I say more? 
you have like this book of pure knowledge and look at how the sun is like right next to you almost like speaking into your ear in a sense like you have such a strong connection with the divine with the universe with many qualities of life with even humans you've lived like many humane lifestyles is what i'm hearing you live many human lifestyles many times of understanding different ways of how just a family dynamic may work you may even have had a reality to where you were alone most of your lifetime to where you might feel certain energies like that currently and presently you may even want to like delve more deeper into who you are and what makes you who you are today what enables you to be who you are is it through to these connections that are starting to become more online for you you could have quite literally been a lion a leopard you could have been a fish as well i'm also hearing the many faces of you the multifaceted versions of you are all like becoming more centered and grounded within your energy and i'm also hearing since time is not linear that even those lifetimes of who you were are surrounding you and ready for your commands like it's, it's, it's given such a strong connection to you and the self and it's interesting too because before i started your reading i have this over here right and it's just one of my tarot decks that i have out and this is the hierophant as well as so is this right here with wisdom i get this strong energy that you were like this since a baby like again like you've had many lifetimes to where your soul is elevated is what i'm hearing like i'm getting ace of pentacles with this split apple right here very beautiful energy for you you have such you have some strong knowledge like you're very knowledgeable deep energies and that's what's being regenerated and awakened for you like wow i love it i literally love it and here you have spiritual strength spiritual strength as well as wisdom who are you <laughs> i mean i know that you're like a high vibrational soul this is very beautiful energy palm number four as well as right now we're going to end it off with a beautiful five 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 message let's go ahead and add another five in there so we have five 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 Go ahead and search it up and see what comes through but right now you are definitely shifting your energy is shifting and they want you to have this spiritual strength about yourself because i know that's what you have like both of these energies together they give such a priest or priestess like energy god or goddess like energy and i feel like you definitely hold that especially with these two flames that came through for you this is what you need to know right now i'm sorry if i went off in like big tangents but the divine was channeling through me but indeed pound number four i hope that you enjoy this is all that we have for you um if you enjoyed again <laughs> please like and sh like share comment subscribe if you feel called to and i can't wait i literally cannot wait to see who you become on the opposite end of this shift of this activation of this transformation and there's no, no nothing to fear. We already know that. Oh, so beautiful. So beautiful. False evidence appearing real, huh? And you should know what is meant for you and what's true for you. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and slide out. <laughs> um, I love you, dear beautiful soul. We already know you are very much so protected. That ring of light is at your command, and so are all of the guys around you, willing to help and support you. And I'll see you around.